What's up, YouTube? It's Jones and TV back at y'all with another video. I started thinking the other day about how the NBA kind of has this commonality between rappers, you know, ball players, rappers, things like that. And uh, I kind of thought I would do my favorite four comparisons. So, you know how people say Lil Wayne is the Kobe of the rap game or something like that. Um, so I figured I'd do my favorite four and uh, let me know what y'all think of these. So first one for me is Kobe Bryant. And this might be contrary to popular belief. A lot of people think he's like Lil Wayne, but to me, he's the Kendrick Lamar of the NBA. And really because of that Black Mamba mentality. So it really comes from like the control verse that Kendrick put out, calling out all the rappers, really showing that he wasn't scared. Um, also Kendrick's dedication um, to the craft, his practice, his hours, his time and effort he put into the to the craft and his, his carefulness, his detail. Also Kendrick being from California, that's a plus. Um, also something else that people don't think about, Kobe speaks seven different languages. Um, and Kendrick Lamar is known for having different voices in his raps, different uh, styles and delivery. So, um, and a lot more than other, other rappers do. It almost is looked at as a language, whereas Kendrick can become seven different people um, on a track. So um, that's a unique skill he has to no one else. So um, yeah, man, I think that's like a perfect comparison. Uh, next, Drake. For me, Drake represents the closest thing we've seen to Steph Curry. And the reason I say that is because Steph Curry, well, first of all, both of them are light-skinned. <laughs> Second of all, uh, both of them came from two backgrounds that you wouldn't expect them to be successful in the fields that they're successful in today. So uh, Drake, of course, came from acting he had a strike on his back because people looked at him automatically as soft. Um, didn't think that he could become the success that he became. Kind of same with Steph Curry. Um, his demeanor, his look, his boyish look made people think he wasn't the assassin that he was. But both of them with careful consideration and both of them with an approach that had never been, not never been seen before, but an approach that kind of was overlooked had had made a name for himself. So Drake with the singing and rapping, um, that dual threat, he had become the the great artist that he had become and, and blown up to the to the proportion that he had because of that. And Steph Curry blowing up because of his focus on the jump shot and the three point shot, um, and revolutionizing the game. So both of them really changed changed the game um for their generation. So um uh, definitely what I'd say Steph Curry is the closest thing to Drake. And finally, for me, Jay-Z and LeBron James. So to me, I mean, it, it's a no-brainer. Jay-Z is this mogul that kind of made himself a brand um, out of this platform, this small platform that was a rapper and what a rapper was at the time. Um, the first guy um, with his first, with the signature shoe was a rapper. Um, the Rockefeller brand, um, Rock Nation, uh, the list goes on and on for all of his uh, ventures and his business ventures. Um, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. Um, and then LeBron James, kind of, first of all, growing up in that same generation um, of looking up to Jay-Z as his favorite rapper, um, but also the way he approached his life as well with taking his position as being an NBA player and raising that stature to him, you know, putting all of his friends on and becoming a mogul that he's become now. It's unbelievable. Um, he's kind of followed that blueprint and um, has really become the Jay-Z, the NBA, empowering all these players, showing them it's possible. Um, Jay-Z did the same thing for all the rappers. So um, it's really crazy when you think about it, man, but there's a lot of counterparts that um, that go hand in hand when it comes to the NBA and, uh, and rap. So it's really cool when you think about it, man. So let me know what y'all think. Um, let me know if y'all want me to do some more of these. I could probably cook up some more comparisons. Um, but these to me are the big three that stand out that are like no brainers, um, uh, when it comes to, comes to those, to those fields. So yeah, man, make sure y'all like, 
Um, make sure y'all subscribe. Definitely coming with more stuff for this year, 2019, brand new year. All sports, mostly sports, everything. Might do some more shoe stuff. Um, we'll see. Depends on how um, this situation is going right now. I'm in, a, I'm in a situation I can't talk about, so keep that on the low. But right now, just doing sports stuff, focusing on that. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, all that. It's Jay Jordan. Peace.